Hello and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, my name is Brittany. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe if you're into all things travel vlogs like this, lifestyle, and a little bit of everything in between. So I, it might be obvious, it might not be, but I'm currently reporting to you live from a hotel room. I am in Orlando. I actually have on some Disney merch, but it's some Disneyland Paris merch. So it feels a little exclusive to be wearing in this Walt Disney World area, but I'm in Orlando meeting up with my friend Leah who lives in Tampa. You've seen her in a couple of my vlogs before. Like we went to New York together last year. We went to Renaissance together in Tampa. That's probably it. Um, but we are doing the Disney Princess Half Marathon on Sunday. Fun fact, this is actually <laughs> yesterday was the 10 year anniversary. It's dramatic to call it the 10 year anniversary. But the 10 year anniversary of the first half marathon that we ran together in San Diego back in, I mean, 20. 13 I guess or 2014 when we were both living in LA neither of us trained okay I'm gonna speak for myself I don't and I would say Leo would probably agree neither of us trained at like barely little to at all for that race like I maybe went on I'll say max two runs and they were short like a jog before we ran and I was I mean I was like we were 25 ish 24 25 so you think you're invincible at that age you know and we maybe went a little too hard because that was like I mean we finished it and it was like I was my first ever half marathon, so I didn't really have anything to compare it to, but I was in a lot of pain the days after. Since then, I've run the, like I've run a full marathon. I ran the Chicago Marathon in 2019, and I've run one other half. Leah and her sister last summer too, speaking for myself, that was again, not one of my best runs, but here we are again, running one together. Neither of us have really trained here. Well, I, I've trained a little bit here and there. If you've watched some of my vlogs, Recently, I've kind of talked about working out, not nearly as much as I should have trained for this half, but it's also a Disney half. So it's like, we're not qualifying for anything. Like there's characters along the route. It's like, it's, it's like a whole vibes. We'll see how it goes. Today is, what's today? Oh, today's Friday. I actually got in last night, pretty late last night. Like I think I landed a little before 11 and then it was like after midnight by the time I like got to the hotel we're actually staying at her parents timeshare which is nice because it's no cost to either of us so that made this a little more affordable um and leah is driving in from tampa later today so what i'm about to do now is go pick up my packet for like my race day packet like my bib and all of that um as it's at the espn worldwide of sports which i've never been there before so we'll go do that and then maybe go to like i don't really know what i'm gonna do after that i mean it's already i think it's like 11 30 or something um so it's like i don't want to say the day is wasting away but kind of so i lounged a lot this morning i was so tired but i might go to like downtown disney or disney springs is what it's called now walk around there for like a little bit i'd like to go to the polynesian resort um go to like Trader Sam's, get a little tiki drink. If you're new here or you didn't watch like my Paris vlog when I went to Disneyland Paris, which is where I got this shirt from, I used to work at Disneyland in Flor in California. And I've been to, I went to Disney World, I feel like a decent amount growing up, but I, so I'm like in the Disney, I'm not a Disney adult. Like I would not take it that far, but I do enjoy coming to like the parks and or like coming to like Disney and like getting into the vibe. So um, I feel like I'm pretty familiar with like the area. I was just, the last time I was at Disney World, so where I am now in Florida was, it was like a year and a half ago. It was Labor Day 2022, I believe. Yeah, 2022. And then I went to Disneyland Paris last year. While we're here, we're obviously running the race. That's on Sunday. We're also going to Epcot on Sunday too. And that's like the only park that we're going to while we're here. So it'll be a little bit of a whirlwind, but excited to like have a little bit of like a, a getaway. It's actually my first travel vlog of the year now that I'm thinking about it. So I don't really think I've been, or I went on, I went to New Orleans in January, but I didn't vlog that. So this is my second trip of the year. But with that being said, let's head to ESPN Wide World of Sports. I'm nervous that there's gonna be like a long line and like a lot of people waiting to get their bibs. There's also like some merch and I love, as you can see, love a good merch, a good um, spirit jersey or something like that. So. Let's see what they have to offer.
All right, so I did the whole like race bit pickup, walked through the expo. There's some good stuff actually. So Leah isn't here yet. She's getting in later this like afternoon. I need to put my sunglasses on. It's like afternoon, evening. So she's gonna go like pick up her stuff tomorrow. So I was like, I think I'm gonna go back with her and <laughs> maybe buy some stuff from the expo because so we both were like oh I don't know if I'll like dress up or anything for the race like I'm just and I I like kind of dropped the ball until like a couple weeks ago I was like shoot I need to figure out what to wear so I, I'm just wearing like I have this like fun pink tank like a running tank and like a just a Walt Disney World visor and that's all I don't even know if I'll need the visor because we're literally running in the middle of the night yeah um, but I was just planning on wearing that but then as I was there and walking around, I was like, oh, I'm falling victim to what always happens to me and that I feel like I need to buy everything. So I might buy like some cute little merch to run in when Leah goes back tomorrow. But then otherwise, I just, there was, and there was like just cute running stuff. And like, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I, I don't want to have a shopping problem, but I love buying stuff. And I'm really, I am scaling that back a lot, but this is like an occasion. So I did buy um, a, a scare jersey, which was really, really cute. I mean, it was $80, so a little pricey, but who, you love a good spirit jersey. And I mean, I don't know if I'll be back to do another like marathon weekend at Disney. So it felt like a need. And now I am at Disney Springs. I think I'm gonna find something to eat for lunch because it's I think it's like almost two o'clock. Um, and then maybe if I have some having to kill still like walk around a bit oh okay i literally just ran into the place i was looking for i was like gonna find a map and it's literally right in front of me um and then maybe just walk around and see if there's any shopping or anything that i want to do but otherwise still enjoying the day and trying to also stay hydrated but i might have a little cocktail at this lunch so we'll see So it's been like it's been a day it's about it's like a little after four like 4 30 i want to say now so i mean i was out and about for like five hours which is kind of a long time i was getting really tired i was like okay i need to like go back um and rest leah will probably be here in like a few hours i think but i'm also shooting on a new camera so i bought a new i've been all of my past vlogs have been just like taken on like I shoot just using my iPhone and I just bought this new like digital camera. What am I? A hundred digital camera. I bought like a new vlogging camera and I didn't have the, like an SD card for it. It literally got delivered yesterday, like an hour before I left and I didn't have like the SD card for it. So I like, couldn't actually use it. So I actually, I did a target pickup this afternoon too. And now I think we're all a go. So I want to see how different this content is than like what was shot earlier throughout the day. And I feel like the rest of this vlog will be like some on my phone, some on this camera. Anyway, um, okay, so what? It, when was I last on? Oh yeah, I was at Disney Springs, so I like had a little lunch. It was really full. I didn't really want to finish that whole beer, but I also didn't want to throw it away. So I kind of chugged the last like this much of it and I felt like I was going to puke. So I walked around like quite a bit, did some window shopping. I saw some stuff I really liked at Uniqlo and I might go back and do some... Like me and Leah are gonna go back tomorrow to Disney Springs, so maybe I'll pick some things up. Then, um, and then oh, I walked around like World of Disney. Really, just like walked around shops. Oh, and then I had those churros. Those were delicious. They were eight dollars, which I didn't even care about because they were so good. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like for the rest of like these few hours until Leah gets here, I honestly might take a little snooze, or at the very least, just like rest like on like lay on the couch slash bed 
and rest for like a few hours. Um, we'll see how the rest of the day goes and go from there. So it's race day. It is, it's been like 36 hours since I was last on and I, it's literally the middle of the night right now. It's 3.54 a.m. and we're about to leave in like five minutes or 10 minutes um, to go to the race, which sounds insane. But I mean, since I was last on, on Friday night, not a lot has really happened. Leah got here yesterday. We like, we went to go pick up her race stuff, or her like bib and stuff for the race. We went to downtown Disney a little bit, had some ice cream, some lunch, and then we came home and went to bed by 8 p.m., which is like kind of insane. Also, our outfits have escalated very quickly because we both were like, oh, we're not gonna wear anything princess themed. Leah, now, hold on Leah, I'm gonna show what you're wearing really quick. Even though it's not, Leah is fully now in a Princess Yana look from head to toe. <laughs> and then, I mean, I just have on like a pink, uh, like a bright pink tie dye. We'll do a full look once we're dressed. Um, but I also bought a crown and a running tutu, which these are things I said I wasn't going to do. Um, but here we are. So we also tried to like hydrate a little bit yesterday. We had like a decent dinner at noodles and company because we both or at noodles because neither of us have really been there in a while and it felt like a good like pre-race option we have some little snacks to eat in the morning and then i mean we'll get there at like 4 20 ish or 15 20 but this sounds just like insane to keep saying out loud but then we probably will start the race like around six ish maybe be done around nine ish and then go to the park later on today <clears throat> but we'll take it step by step from here on out mile by mile inch by inch so let me finish getting ready and then we'll head to the race. Okay, so it's been 13 hours since we like, were getting ready to run the race. We finished it in one piece, shockingly. Woo! <laughs> 
Leah, if you had three words, now I'm putting you on the spot. Three One words. to three words to sum up how you feel, how you felt during and after the race, what would they be? Okay, during, excited. It was a great crowd. We stayed with the pacer and he had a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. So if you're watching this, yeah. thank you. 310 pacer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and after, just impressed that what the human body can do because I've run a handful of half marathons, but I've never trained so little ever in my life. <laughs> And we finished. Yeah, like we, I think I said this at the beginning of the video, Leah and I ran a half marathon together 10 years ago, basically from this weekend where we didn't train like at all. And I was shocked. Like we like ran like a mile and a half at the beginning, which, okay, that doesn't sound like a lot, like kind of straight. And then I feel like in the two ish mile mark, we found the pacer group and ran with them until like 10 miles, I think. Been Maybe like between 10 and 11. And then I was like, I can't run anymore because it was a run walk group and then we basically walked from there to the end of the race and finished in one piece i think our time was like three what did i say three hours and 20 minutes or something like that it's yeah. so like not like outstanding no, but guess. but well, like but we finished and now we're at epcot so like that in itself is a feat um like we went home showered and then came to epcot we've had lunch we've gotten on a couple attractions we had some snacks and now we're waiting for our virtual queue for guardians of the galaxy and then we also have a fa like a lightning lane, aka fast pass for Remy's Ratatouille adventure in a little bit. But otherwise, I feel like we're having a great day. I'm not as sore as I thought I would be. Like I can actually walk. I'm. A, I mean, it's a little sore after like sitting down. So once we get up from here, we'll see what happens. But otherwise, the day is turning out to be a uh, way better than I thought it would be at from 3 a.m. this morning. So we'll finish up the day at Epcot and see how the rest of it goes. So it is now Monday. Yeah, it's Monday evening at 9 p.m. I am back in my apartment. Okay, you're not seeing much of the scene, but I'm back in my apartment in Chicago, no longer at Disney World. I've been home for maybe an hour at this point. I landed at around like 6.45 p.m. Um, but so it's the now officially like the day after the race. Leah and I spent the rest of the day at Epcot. We got to go on the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. There was, what? Which like, if you've never been on that attraction, 15 out of 10, recommend. It's so, I don't even know how to like describe it. Like I was trying to describe it to Leah cause I went on it like the last time I was at Disney World a year and a half or so ago. And I was like, I don't even know what words to use to explain it to you. And like, after we got off, she's like, yeah, I don't know how you could have explained that to me. So it's just, it's like, you're, it's a roller coaster, but you're spinning, but it's also like a 3D experience or like an IMAX experience kind of. And then there's like a, a music component thrown in there. So that was really cool. We went, oh yeah, we went to dinner at um, like a, a one of the restaurants in Morocco, like in the World Showcase. Um, We got, Oh, we had a glass of champagne in France, which was nice. We got on the Ratatouille attraction. Um, and then, I mean, kind of just, we wrapped up our day probably. But, oh, we got a Mickey pretzel on the way out. But we were done with the park around, I want to say it was like around 8 o'clock. I mean, we had been up for like 15 hours at that point and obviously ran a half marathon that morning. So it had been a long day, but it was fun. I'm glad that we did get to go to one park at least while we were there. Um, or that we were able to like fit in going to one park while we were there. All in all about like the race weekend overall, I would say if you've never done a half marathon before or any kind of like big race, I would say specifically if you've never done a half marathon or a marathon, I do think the Run Disney ones could be a good one to start with because they're pretty low stakes just in that like, I mean, you don't have to qualify to like get in. Um, I mean, they are a little pricey, obviously since it's Disney, like everything's pricey, but it's just like an easy 
I feel like it's a really fun experience. It's like not as competitive, I feel like, as other races can feel or you don't feel. Like, at least is how I felt. Like, it's not like you feel like you have to, like, make a time or anything like that. It's just, like, a really fun experience. So, like, would recommend doing Run Disney, like, a Run Disney um, event if you've never, if you're wanting to, like, try to do some sort of a like a timed race and have never done one before i think like i said i think it's a good a gateway drug you could say into um racing i'm kind of hoping that this like will reinvigorate reignite me back into like getting back into running a little bit more because like i said i didn't really train for this but like after i ran i was like oh yeah that was fun like that was really fun um so i'm thinking about doing the soldier field 10k it's like a 10 miler but there's also a 10k in may here in chicago i don't know if i'll do another half marathon anytime soon after i did my last one i actually said i didn't want to do any more but then here i was doing this one like six months later so we'll see i mean maybe i would do another maybe i'll do one like once a year or something like that i will say like i said we didn't do the best training for this. We were pretty sore yesterday, but I do think that going to the park after helped like us stay limber because we kept walking. We didn't just like lounge or, or like sit inside all day. Um, it was after I sat on the, the plane for two hours getting up, I felt like, like Leah kept saying, <laughs> she felt like the 10 man. That's really how I felt. Like I had to like really amp myself up. I was like, okay, I have to get up. I have to like, I had to like boost myself, I feel like to get out of my seat. And then I felt like I was walking in slow motion I, at Orlando airport a little bit walking in slow-mo and there's none of those moving walkways which was a little I was like oh shoot that would be nice to have right now but especially when I got off the plane at Midway um and like I was waiting for my luggage and stuff I felt like I was moving in slow-mo um but I'm grateful to live in a building that has an elevator so I don't have to walk up and down the stairs and I just took Rumi on like a walk around the block but it was it was very slow like she was really like like trying to pull me a little bit and I was like Rumi this is the fastest I can go so you're gonna have to relax but I feel like by tomorrow I'm gonna try to do like a really good stretch maybe even like a yoga um like workout tomorrow and I'm hoping by then I mean that'll be two days after the race I should be pretty feeling like almost back to normal I'll probably stand at my desk um, instead of like sitting at my chair all day tomorrow but if you've made it this far in the vlog thank you for watching if you haven't already give me a thumbs up subscribe so you see more content from me um in the future and I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one